Hey everyone, it's LB. Welcome to Vlogmas 2022. For today's video, I'll be going over my TBR for the month of December. So this is kind of an interesting month because I kind of want to do a lot of holiday romances, but there's also a few new releases. And another thing that's really different about this month of my planned reading is that I would say 90% of it is going to be on my Kindle. So, you know, I'm mostly like a physical copy kind of person, but a lot of the books that I've been really into lately have been um, like a better bargain to get on Kindle. You know, instead of spending $15, I can get them for 4 or $3. And so I have a lot of fun picks that I think y'all will enjoy. Like I said, most of them are going to be a holiday Christmas romance, but there are a few little other things I think people will enjoy. So the first book that I'm currently reading is Summer Memories by Laura John. She's a Canadian author that I've been friends with for about a year. She has a special place in my heart because she's the first author that ever offered me an ARC. And that's just like so amazing to me that I was ever considered. I'm a very small channel and last year I was even smaller. I think last December I was only about less than two months into YouTube or booktube and I think I had maybe 30 followers and now I have over a hundred which you know very tiny still for a lot of people but honestly I didn't know that would ever happen and now that's happened it's just like a whirlwind of emotions and excitement and I almost didn't do vlogmas but I was like you know what I have over three times as many subscribers now and who knows maybe I'll have more success with one this year. So, Laura John, thank you so much and your team for sending me your arc of your new book, and that is called Summer Memories. This is the third book in the series. Um, I was sick when the second book was um, had an arc, and so I actually did skip it, but I am going to pick it up soon. But the first book, which was uh, Long Summer Nights, I believe, I have that review up. I think I did it in either um, May or June. So if you search my channel, Laura John, you'll find that review, and it's been a wonderful series so far. They are small town, southern romances that are high on the spice. So how I sort of, uh, how I sort of explained it was it's sort of like a spicy small town Hallmark story. So if you like small town romances, if you like that kind of Hallmark aesthetic, but you want spice, I think these, this, eh, I think that this series by Laura John will be really up your alley. So Summer Memories is an MM romance. It's a second chance romance between Chuck and Simon, I think. And I'm about a little, maybe about halfway finished with it. I have it on my Kindle. I have it up like how many hours and minutes it'll be to finish the book. So I can't necessarily say how far along I'm in it, but I think I'm on like chapter 12 and I really like it so far. So it's been really good. Um, the second book, well, let me go over the ones that aren't Christmassy first. So that one's not really Christmassy. Um, the second one that isn't Christmassy is book two in the Leviathan fitness series. I think that's right by Ashley Bennett. And the second book is tentacles and triathlons book one, which was muscles and monsters was a six star read for me. I loved it. And, uh, tentacles and triathlons is another M. This one is also an, eh, this one is an MM romance. The first one was a female monster romance. This is a monster male romance. So both the monsters are new. If that makes sense. <laughs> so I don't know too much about it. I believe, I thought it was Declan, Declan's book, who is a friend of our heroine in the um, Mo Muscles and Monsters. It was actually, I think, um, oh goodness, what was her name? <laughs> Tegan. I just read it. I'm so bad with names. I literally have my notes. I was talking with my friend Kristen on Instagram Live. I did a live a couple days ago when I got COVID in June. Oh, there you go. Brain fog. I've had terrible brain fog since June. Like, dementia level brain fog. It's, it's bad. So I have hardcore notes because my brain just isn't working. So if I look down, it's not that I'm, it, it's because I'm very forgetful, but not on purpose. So tentacles and triathlons. I'm very excited for it. It has some beautiful artwork. So very excited for that. And the third, it's, I think it might be a little Christmassy, you know, it might happen once upon a December. And that would, that book will be Anastasia or Anastasia by Sophie Lark. I am super excited for this. Well, yeah, I am excited. So I was a hardcore Anastasia fan. Um, I grew up a 90s kid. I saw Anastasia in theater. Um, absolutely loved it. I love Meg Ryan. <laughs> I love Angela Lansbury very dearly. And so that uh, cartoon has a really special place in my heart. I just really loved Anastasia to the point where I was obsessed with the real Anastasia. Um, I had Anastasia biographies checked out from the library. I couldn't read them. I just looked at the pictures. Um, I had, um, I think it was called the Royal Diaries. Do y'all remember those books? They had um, Dear America, which was like the American girl, not the doll, but like American girl stories from like different time periods. There was one with a girl in the Titanic. There was one with a girl was captured by indigenous Americans. 
Um, and they had like a spinoff series, which was um, Royals. And I think like the third one or second one was Anastasia. And I love that book. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Now I know the Sophie Lart book has like, it's kind of like in a different world. It's like uh, 18th century Russia meets like futurism. So I'm guessing like a steampunk sort of vibe. I'm not fully sure. I wasn't sent to Ark, which is fine. I'm going to buy the book. So it was Lizzo. So. Garbage. <laughs> but it's like steampunkish and I think there might be a little element of magic, which there was magic in the cartoon, you know, with Rasputin and stuff. So I am excited. So I was kind of hoping just for like uh, spicy historical romance. That's my, that's my jam. You know, that's my peanut butter. But, you know, I really do enjoy Sophie Lark. I love her Brutal Birthright series. The Kingmakers, I'm a little iffy about. I don't love the whole Hogwarts meets uh, Hunger Games vibe. But um, Brutal Birthright series, give me more, to quote Britney Spears. You know, I love that series. So those are the two that aren't Christmassy. And the rest of the vibe is Christmas. So I have on my list Limelight Farms, which is by BK Borson. I believe this is like small town, cutesy, mid-level spice. I don't like to really research books because I don't want to have spoilers. I know that's kind of silly because my kind of job is to spoil books in a way. But for me, I like to have um, some mystery about it. So from the cover, I'm getting small town, cutesy, mid-level spice romance. Um, I believe it's book one in a series, but I don't think they're all Christmassy. So, you know, that's interesting. But a lot of my friends have read it and reviewed it and liked it. So... I saw, I saw it on um, Amazon. I think it was on a Black Friday sale for 99 cents. I was like, add your cart. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm excited for that one. I also have two books that I am um, going to do as like a buddy read. And let me know in the comments, do you want a buddy read with me and my friends? Well, you're, you're all my friends, you know. <laughs> but, you know, my group, the group I'm in, the engagement group, we're doing two picks. Um, not everyone in the group is, are going to read the books, but I'd love to buddy read with y'all if you want to. So the first one we have planned to buddy read is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. Y'all know I love Tessa Bailey. I loved Have One Summer. I love the sequel, Huck, Line, and Singer Anymore. Fox Thornton is like my all-time favorite hero from a romance. I loved him to death. Um, I liked My Clear Vacation. I need to reread it because I kind of forgot some of it. So I want to reread that book. But this one is Christmassy. It's Reverse Grumpy Sunshine. If I remember correctly, the heroine might have spent some time in jail or prison for like a misdemeanor. And she's like alternative and grumpy. And the hero is like sun sunshiny and optimistic. So I'm excited for that. That sounds really cool. And it's Tessa Bailey, so it's going to be a romantic comedy with a lot of spice, I'm hoping. So I'm excited. The other one that we have planned sort of as a group read, and I really would love for y'all to join in with me. Just DM me on Instagram. It's I'll be reading romance or here. And let me know, and we'll try to get the dates to work out because they're short books. You know, holiday romances aren't 700 pages, hopefully. <laughs> you know, Anastasia is going to be crazy, so we'll see. Um, the next one is There Are Rose Such a Clatter, which is by C.M. Nacosta. And I know she's really famous for the um, Morning Glory Milking Farm. Haven't read that one yet. I want to, but I want that special cover. Not the, like, minimalist with the milk chug. There's one that's kind of like a clinch cover. I want that one. <laughs> I just don't know where to find it because I think it was a special edition. So I'm going to have to go on, like, Mercari or uh, eBay or something to get it because it's really pretty. So they're both such a clatter. This is a novella. I think it's under 100 pages. And it's, like, high-level spice uh kinky Christmas, you know, um, and it's a, a woman and Krampus, which is like a, I don't know if he's Norwegian or what the, um, the Krampus folklore, I believe it's Norwegian, like Swedish, maybe German, but Krampus is like the evil satanic version of Santa Claus. Like, um, basically Krampus is the like devil. If, um, if like Santa was an angel or like God figure, uh, Krampus would be the Satan devil figure. So it's going to be spicy. It's going to be kinky. It's going to be dark. I'm excited for that. And it's only literally under hundred pages. So that's nice too. It's something short, spicy, fun. I'm excited to read it. And I haven't read the author before, but, um, I want to. And so I think that's a good gateway to get, you know, some short novellas by them. Um, the next one, and that's actually the last one on my list. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Merry Little Mischief, which is by two authors, Julia Murphy and Sierra Simone. Um, I wasn't going to get this book because it's low-key expensive. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's like $12 on, um, like for my Kindle or it was 17 for a hardback or like 25 for a paperback. So I ended up buying the, um, the hardback cover because that was the cheapest. I mean, I could have gotten the ebook, but I do not want to spend $12 for an ebook, you know, just not my thing. So this looks super cute. My, I asked my friend, asked my friends that read it, is it spicy? Because I like spicy romances. I like romantic comedies that are spicy. So in this one, you have a heroine, plus size heroine, who was, uh, for purposes, I'll say, corn star. 
she was a corn star and somehow she has gotten herself into making a holiday like hallmarky uh christmas movie with like the a-list hallmarky christmas guy and it's just like romantic romantic comedy um how did they get in this sort of position in this job i believe both of the leads are bisexual so that's really cool as well and I'm just really excited because my friends, um, my friends, I was kind of describing how I thought the book was going to be. And I was like, it sounds like it's going to be Hallmarky Christmas Meets The Roommate by Rosie Dannon, which is one of my favorite books of 2022. If you haven't read The Roommate by Rosie Dannon, I think you'd like it. It's um, a male corn star and like an uptight um, type A a woman and they become roommates and it's just oh it's really good I like that one so I'm very excited for Merry Little Mischief I know Sierra Simone wrote the um I don't know what the series is called but it's priest and it's just like a priest dark super spicy priest corn <laughs> smut, you know um that's the first one I don't remember the other ones but they're like also religious um that's sort of what she's famous for and then Julia 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 Murphy she wrote Dumplin which I didn't read the book but I watched the movie it had um I can't remember her name. She has really curly hair. She's a full-figured actress. I think she's from Australia. And Jennifer Aniston. It's about um, this girl in a small southern town that's, um, you know, plus size. Um, she's beautiful in her own way. She's not like this idealistic um, beauty pageant, beauty person. Her mother was. And it's about her, like, finding her own strength and beauty and participating in the small southern town, like, Miss Dumplin' pageant or something like that. And it was really cute. The movie was good. And I know the book was well-loved, so I'm excited. So that is my planned TBR for the month of December. I don't really plan to wrap up series. Um, I kind of would like to, if I have the time, read It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Kleypas just because then it'd be finished before December. I can read Dublin Winter in December. And, I mean, in the winter. So that's sort of my plans. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Let me know if you'd like to join in with me for the buddy reads. Like I said, the Tessa Bailey one, I think it's under 200 pages. I'm pretty sure just over 200. And then uh, it arose such a, there arose such a clatter by CM Nicosta is um, under 100. So if you want to join, I love that. It'd be so much fun. So I hope you'll have a wonderful day, a wonderful holiday season. And I will try to have this Vlogmas up from today, December 1st till Christmas Eve. Yay. Hope you'll have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I would love to see y'all and leave me a comment below. Have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.